Alrighty, Mr. Gatekeeper here. Got a really uh, cool little build here. Uh, just got done tuning it up. Hadn't even uh, mic'd in the uh, tuners in yet. Uh, my buddy, Mr. Nick Cray, man, he's so eager to see this video. He just heard, uh, just talked to me and heard that I got it tuned up. He's like, make the video right now. Just mic it in after the video. <laughs> So I guess I'll right, go ahead, man. We'll just, uh, after I get done, I'll just mic in everything, take this tuner off and the trimmer off, mic all that in for you, bud, and get it on to you. But, uh, tried a little something different with this, uh, four pill build. As you can see, the, uh, splitter and combiner is a little different than what you've seen me doing before. And uh, all I've got to say about that is I just want to give a shout out to Mr. Stickman. <laughs> he knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> Thought I'd just try it, man. You know, this is all about experimenting, man. You know, experimenting. Try this, try that. Hey, man, it's supposed to be fun, man. That's what this is. It's fun. So this is a clean little straight four high drive, 2879. Okay. Class C. It's got a side band delay. Went ahead and utilize a relay there. And basically what that does right there is uh, when you just add a regular 1,000, I see that Fat Boy has figured this out as well. I actually figured it out by accident, but if you add a, add a regular 1,000 to uh, the, the, the relay there, you know, it, it makes it where you can talk sideband just fine, but the, the delay is just kind of short, you know. It's the uh, second you get done talking, you know, just the second you get done saying a word, it unkeys, but... uh just uh, something about the uh, ohms of the coil of the relay along with the 1000 just kind of just gives it a lot more better feel, man. A lot longer delay. I mean, it, it's absolutely beautiful. And I think I, I've seen uh, Fat Boy utilizing that as well. So it looks like they figured it out as well. <laughs> but uh, <clears throat> just to give you a quick overview of the, you got the preamp, of course. Utilized with big overkill two four gauge wires, of course. Okay. Alrighty, buddy. Well, what we're going to be using, I ain't got much recording time. I need to blast through this. Uh, I'm just going to be using a 2290, uh, 250 Texas Star. This is way too much drive for it. So we're just going to be utilizing with the green button in. And we're going to um, start off, basically that's going to be our max drive setting right there. And we're going to start off about right here. Okay. And let you see what we got going on with that. Okay. Alright, we're going to be using this meter for peak. This meter is just real close to the bird meter up here to run jumpers. It's just a lot easier to do it right here without having a lot of looped up behind. This is a time I really wish I was in my in my uh, shop that I'm starting to build for myself, man. <laughs> because I'm having to have this 250 sitting on my knee. Alright, so this is just the 250 right here. Unless you see on the bird. Get the 1000 watt slug. I'm going to have to turn on this light, y'all. Sorry. I want y'all to be able to see everything. 1,000 watt slug. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. It's doing about 20 or 30 bird. Let's see. On the peak, we're reading the 1,000 scale. 1,000 watt scale. Okay. Oh, yeah. So it's doing right there about 80 watts. 80 watts peak, okay? And what we're going to do is we're pretty much going to jump from an 80 watt drive to about a 120 watt drive, okay? That's what we're going to utilize here. And the driver is running on... I've got it on 13.2 volts. I've just... Adjust that up just a little bit there. All right, 13.8 volts. All righty. 
All right, y'all, we're going to go ahead and kick the four pill on. Okay, let you see see that rock in there with about 80 watts peak, about 20 or 30 uh, bird watts, and this is what it produces. Go. Oh, yeah. It's about 200 bird. Do. Oh, yeah. Let you see the input tune. 10 watt slug in reverse. Do. Oh, yeah. Beautiful tune. Do. Oh, yeah. Absolutely beautiful tune. Alrighty. What we're going to do now is. We are going to go ahead and turn this to the max position that we're going to be driving it at, which is halfway. Okay. And that right there should give us about 120 peak. Oh, yeah. Let's see here. Oh, yeah. Right there, about 120 peak. Do yeah. Alrighty. And this is what 120 peak. Let's go ahead and flip on the four. Sorry y'all, I'm just trying to speed through this. We're on a um, we're on the high tap 100 amp supply. And here's what it produces. Should be right around 400 bird. Do yeah. A little bit over, about 410, 420. Do yeah. All righty. Go ahead and just let you see how much peak that it's making. Do yeah. Off the scale, about a thousand, a thousand on the peak. Do yeah. That's off the scale, man. That's what I like to see. <laughs> well, there you go. Go ahead and flip everything off here. Got a lot of buttons to turn off. Sorry, y'all. In a real quick, uh, got a dentist appointment. A few of y'all know I've been having some problems with a couple of dang teeth, man. So, I'm gonna go get that fixed. But, uh, here you go, man. Go ahead and get this, uh, 250 off my lap here. This is for, uh, Mr. Nick Cray. He is a new uh a newcomer to the hobby. We'll go ahead and put this uh put this up over here. Excuse me, y'all. Mr. Nick Cray is a newcomer to the hobby. And uh I think this box is gonna last him well. He's just gonna be hitting it with a striker 955. And um uh, of course, he'll be seeing a little bit of less wattage. The reason why this was doing so well is because it was on the volts. I, I think I forgot to even show what it was bumping down to. Basically, it was bumping down to about 16 and a half volts on the float there on the 100 amp supply. So the amp is roughly is getting a good 16 and a half volts to do about 410, 420 bird. Um, I would probably guess that that was peaking at least uh, 1100 plus on the peak there but uh it just knocked a thousand watt scale out so i mean that's uh what a four pill should be doing man so i'm real happy very happy to see that and uh it's always good when stuff's working correctly because good god man anything can go any direction man <laughs> but uh really neat little clean build here man i was glad to get it done for you bud and hope you really enjoy it and uh shoot man I think the only thing I hadn't tested is the preamp. So uh, what we'll do is we'll hook a live antenna up before we, uh, after we uh, put the tin on it and all that. And after I mic these uh, caps in for you, and just to make the you know make sure the preamp's working, I like to check everything before I ship it out. Man, there ain't no reason to be getting it shipped back in for something small like that. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoy, bud, Mr. Nick Cray. Quick little straight high drive. Uh, Tough little four banger, if you ask me, man. Inch and a half transformers. Got some metals on there. Shoot, man. This thing can handle some drive now, brother. I'm going to go ahead and let you know. This thing can handle some drive, man. This thing will probably get up about five, six hundred bird. But I don't, you know. We didn't test it like that, but hey, I'm just letting you know what it's going to be doing with uh, right there around the 
conditions that you're doing, I would probably say that you'd probably be getting about 300 so bird possibly with the setup that you're going to be doing. And, buddy, it should last for a long time like that, buddy. So I hope you enjoy. Mr. Gatekeeper right here around Northeast Georgia. Going to go get these teethies fixed. <laughs> God bless y'all 73s.